Hi everyone, and welcome to our 2019 Garden Trends video series, where we take a deeper dive into the eight trends detailed in our Garden Trends report, rooted together. If you haven't checked that out, there's a link below in the description. Today we are taking a look at the Robo Gardening Trend. With the rapid decrease of insects and even faster increase in human populations, gardening will rely on technology to propel more change in the years ahead. From drones to phones, new technology is making gardening easier. Planning, planting, watering, and even weeding is being done remotely. Traditionally a manual activity, gardening is an outgoing high-tech. While it's fun and entirely possible to garden successfully with some seeds, soil, and water, our modern lives are busy and time is a luxury. Luckily, forward-thinking gardening products are solving problems and changing the way we grow and nurture our gardens. Robots have been infiltrating the garden for a few years now. From robotic mowers to wireless plant sensors, high-tech tools free gardeners from unpleasant tasks or simply make them better gardeners, using technology such as 3D modeling, GPS mapping, and lasers. The new Turtil is the Roomba for the garden. This solar-powered robot whacks weeds for up to three hours. Smartphone apps for gardening have also been popping up over the years to help solve the challenges of documenting, organizing, and sharing about plants. Drones are the next wave. Drones are used in various applications including agriculture. Their use in confined spaces has been limited, but researchers and companies are beginning to explore how they can be used in crop production. Some researchers predict that in the coming years, drones will be routinely used in commercial greenhouses. Due to the declining bee population, one use for drones that appeals to many developers is artificial pollination. Experimental mini-drones have been 37% successful in pollinating flowers. Very small drones are being developed in labs around the world to tackle this issue by replicating bees' role in pollination. Bee populations are declining so quickly that even Walmart is getting into the robotic bee business. The retail giant filed six patents using drones to pollinate crops as well as identifying pests attacking crops, monitoring crop damage, and spraying pesticides. Robots that see might be the next big thing. Researchers are developing vision technology combining laser vision with AI software to enable automated arms to carry out more complex tasks, such as slicing chicken. Will planting, watering, and weeding be next? With advances in technology, soon anything will be possible. And as always, for more information or to see what else we have to offer, visit our website at www.gardenmediagroup.com. Thank you.